Picture that you are on Ubuntu and want a quick glance at the calendar. Simply type the cal command in your terminal and there it is. So let's dive right into the video to discover the ins and outs of the cal command in the Ubuntu terminal along with 7 practical examples. The Linux Cal command is a standard Unix and Unix-like operating systems program that displays the current month and day. It comes in Linux with many options, so you can customize your output according to your need. An alternative of Cal command is also available. It is the Incal. The syntax of the Cal command is very simple. It is Cal followed by option and argument. Here you can see the option and argument enclosed by square brackets followed by three dots represent that multiple options and arguments can be utilized simultaneously. Now, the options. There are multiple options available for the cal command. You can check those by running the command man cal. And look, now you are in the manual page for both cal and incal command. But the problem is, from here, some of the options may not work for the cal command. And you can press Q to exit the manual page. Suppose you want to check the calendar in a matter of seconds. For that, at first open the terminal and type cal. Hit enter and you can see that the calendar of the current month January 2024 is displayed. If you want, you can also see the whole year using the option dash y. So, type cal dash y. Hit enter and now look at the terminal. If we scroll up, then you can see the calendar of the whole year 2024. Suppose suddenly you are in a need to check the month of December 1971. For that type Cal 12 1971. Here 12 is the month December and 1971 is the year. Hit enter and look the month of December 1971 is displayed in the terminal. Now let's say you want to know about a certain month of the current year. Then you may use the option dash M followed by the name of the month. For example, Cal dash M February. Hit enter and in the terminal I can see the month of February of the year 2024 even though I am in January 2024. Using the Linux Cal command, you can also view a certain whole year. For that, just type in the terminal Cal 2022. Here 2022 is the year that I want to view. Hit enter and here it is. Scroll up to view the whole year. To view the calendars of past, present and future months altogether, you can use the option dash 3. For instance, type Cal dash 3. Hit enter. Now look at the terminal. As I am in January, my previous month is December and upcoming month is February. And it is shown perfectly in the terminal. The calendar we see and use in our day-to-day -day life is the Gregorian calendar. However, you can view the Julian's calendar by using the option dash J with the cal command in Linux. Also, if you want to view the calendar of the month February, use the option dash M as well. Now type cal dash jm february. Here if you put m before j, it will generate an error as option dash m requires an argument. So hit enter and for Gregorian calendar type cal dash m february. Hit enter and now in the terminal I have shown both Gregorian calendar and Julian calendar. And the differences is apparent. In Gregorian calendar, February starts as 1, 2, 3, whereas in Julian, it is starting as 32, 33, 34. You may face an issue regarding the cal command. That is, the current date is not highlighted like mine. Don't worry. This issue can be solved by following some steps. For that, at first open a browser and download the cal file using this link. I will provide the link in the video description, so don't forget to check this out. Now hit enter and the cal.gif file is downloaded. Now minimize the browser and go to files, then downloads and extract this file. After extracting, again minimize the files and navigate to the downloads folder with the command cd 
downloads. Hit enter. Now type alias to check the list of contents. And here you can see the extracted cal file. Now to make it executable for all users, type chmod a plus u cal. Hit enter. To delete the current existing cal file, type the command sudo rm slash user slash bin slash cal. Hit enter. I got command not found. That means I had no existing cal file in my system. Now to move the new cal file to any bin folder, type sudo mv cal slash user slash bin slash cal. Hit enter and it's done. Now to check again type cal and look as today's 30th January it is highlighted in the terminal. That's all. The cal command in Linux is a handy tool to have. You can use it on a daily basis. Hopefully the examples shown here are enough for you. Practice more and surely you will be proficient in using the cal command in Linux. And for the commands, article link and website link, don't forget to check out the video description. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.